Right, so the investigation is picking up uh, pace and uh, Mihir and Anshul are also joining us on this broadcast. Uh, coming to you first, Anshul, you're reporting from outside the residence where uh, Aftab and uh, Shraddha lived. What is uh, the scene like there now? We do know that uh, investigating agencies, the forensic teams have been going in and out of this residence to try and collect any evidence that would support the confession that uh, Aftab has given to the police. So yes, the entire case that is being built by the Delhi Police right now is on the statements that have been made by Aftab. So in his statements, uh, the main point is what he did after strangling Shraddharu dead. So at the place at which I am standing is a market which is very close by to the residence of Aftab and Shraddha. I'll just try and move out of the frame and try and show you the shop right behind me. If you could see the Oppo shop, Tilak Electronics. This is a shop from where Aftab comes on the morning of 19th of May, comes, buys a fridge and he makes that payment through a, through a credit card. After which uh, he takes that delivery of that fridge, uh, which which is delivered to to his home, by the sh by the shop owners. After which I'll also like to show you the entire sequence of events what transpired on the morning of 19th of May. So he, he comes out, he buys a fridge to keep store the body parts of each other. He then goes ahead and buys knives and garbage bags from a shop right here. If I could just show you in the visuals over over here, the. Shop is right, right next, uh, right next to the shop from where he bought the fridge. And from this shop, this home and kitchen shop, he goes ahead and buys that uh, knife and and uh, gar garbage bags is what we have been told. And everything is being mentioned by Aftab in his statement. And while he was taking that delivery of that knife, he got a cut in his hand to make uh, to make sure that that cut is not septic. He comes to this clinic right next to me. This is a Apex Hospital clinic where a surgeon sits. He comes to this clinic, gets himself stitched. Where the doctor spoke to him at length. He, the doctor has also spoken to CNN News 18 now, and he's seeing that the manner in which Aftab was talking, it seemed like that he was really, really arrogant, and he had no no pain uh, whatsoever, whatsoever when he was given the initial anesthesia. After which he was stitched up. He showed no remorse, no pain, and in fact was talking in a very aggressive manner to him. Also, very importantly, he the doctor also pointed out that. Aftab continued to speak in English even when the doctor asked him questions in Hindi. So yes, he was he was trying to portray that he was a, a very educated and a, a very uh, modern looking man and so anything like that would have happened in his house, no, no one could have guessed. So yes, this is the entire area, this is the uh, next 15, uh, 15 to 20 minutes of what happened after, after uh, the next day uh, after Aftab strangled Shadar death. He comes out here, he buys these uh, knives and uh, garbage bags from here. He takes that, takes, uses this knife probably to cut a shraddha into pieces and the garbage bags in which he uh, then goes ahead and stores uh, those pieces that he cut in the garbage bag in the fridge that he brought from here right here. The fridge was amounting to approximately uh, two rupees twenty three five uh, twenty three thousand five hundred. It was a three hundred liter fridge that he bought and it was from the shop right, uh, the shop that I showed you right away. Right. It was from that shop that he bought, uh, bought that ship. So, so, so yes, all this has been now been corroborated by the police because remember the manner in which we saw that Aftab was taken to the spot where he claimed that he had thrown the body parts of Shraddha. He was taken to that uh, to that spot to corroborate things. Now the Delhi police had done the same thing over here as well. The, Delhi, the team of Delhi police along with Aftab came to all these three shops, corroborated with the shopkeepers that he was the person who actually came here. They took those original bills with them as well. So yes, the, uh, everything that Aftab has been saying because it seems that like he is a professional in the kind of, uh, in, the, in the manner that he has managed to disintegrate that body right. and disperse that body off. He seems like a professional and that is the reason why the Delhi police is taking everything that he is speaking with a pinch of salt and every statement that he has been making, the Delhi police is making sure that it is corroborated with evidence. so that Absolutely, because they will need evidence be, to back uh, up these claims to build a watertight case because his confession really is not going to have any standing legally speaking and that is why the police do not want to leave uh, any elbow room uh, for uh, when the case actually goes to court. Uh, do stay on with me. Uh, Nikhil, my colleague, also joins us now from the Meroli Police Station. Nikhil, uh, some time ago is when uh, we saw Aftab being brought back after the recreation of the dump site was uh, conducted. Do we have any more details of what is expected now? He is going to be in the police's custody for the next five days.